For kids in some parts of our city, gunshots and police sirens are everyday neighborhood sounds. They're accustomed to detouring around crime scenes. And many know the pain of losing a loved one to gun violence or incarceration. Tonight, some of those young people stood up to tell their community, we need help. News 4's Derek Ward explains the one thing those kids say would most improve their lives. Much of the talk about teens these days has been in the context of the violence plaguing city streets. This group of teens came to do some talking, too, among themselves and to city officials. Yes, there was talk of violence, but mainly about how they avoid it. I'm not saying, like, I'm not worried about other, like, the others, but I'm just trying to do me. At 17, Darius Scrivener has aspirations of being a surgeon. So can't focus on anybody who's trying to, like, slow me down from what I'm trying to do in my life. The Thurgood Marshall Center, once the 12th Street YMCA, founded in 1853, was the center of discussion about issues young people face in the 21st century. Today I'm here to speak about three issues regarding youth. The lack of mental health, bullying regarding the LGBTQ community, and the sanitation of our school. The top three issues impacting youth in D.C., in my opinion, are mental health, gender neutral spaces, and locking kids' phones up during schools. You hear that? Mental health, once a taboo issue, is now top of mind and perhaps at the center of the solution to the broader issue of violence. Policymakers search for solutions. Young people find ways to cope. These students work with Anacostia's Children's Legacy Theater, a kind of acting out that's encouraged. When I really got into it and I got into like expressing myself and you know like being in that safe space where I'm able to be myself, you know, it was a really good experience for me. You no, know, sometimes we can feel bottled up and trapped in our own daily lives, but when we come to work, which it is, it's it's an amazing thing that we get to express ourselves. They have the advantage of guidance and direction, but there are others who don't, who get caught up in the violence. They're not in this room. But what leaders can learn from the young people here could go a long way to reaching those in critical need. With so much happening with our young people today, this is a critical time to hear from them. Derek Ward, News 4.